It's just the fact that we're reporting on that. So I want to be clear, the company isn't bad. They're allowed to be in business and sell this to the government. In the past, we would see articles about one million body bags armor uh, ordered by FEMA or 300,000 plastic coffins ordered by Homeland Security. And, I mean, we've had all those articles. We just have never... But, but people don't care about an article or a news story. They want to see the coffin. So some folks uh, in Georgia saw one of these facilities, and we've got Google photos uh, of it and ground photos and video of it, and it is more than 500,000 of these giant coffins stacked outside. You'll have big stacks of lids and then stacks of the coffins, one inside the other. And they also have... Uh, other systems that uh, you can go read about. They also have urns for your cremated body. And this is in Georgia. The company is Polyguard Vaults, but they're in Alabama. This is a separate area, a FEMA uh, leased area, just, just sitting right out by the side of a highway for the last couple years. And finally, we've mentioned this before, but finally, this is really getting big news on the web, and a big report's being done by Kurt Nemo right now. In fact, it may be up. I know he's working on it uh, to have it up by the end of the show. Why are tens of thousands of plastic burial vaults stacked in a field near Madison, Georgia, is the headline. Polyguard vaults, and you go to their website, and we also have uh, photos of the truck's giant 18-wheelers, huge 18-wheelers with these extra-long... Um, flatbeds just just totally stacked with the coffins that go one inside the other like plastic Dixie cups and they're just all there now now we know this is FEMA we know that uh, these are coffins some people are debating that because we have all the news articles where it says FEMA's ordered coffins and body bags by the millions this is just one stockpile just a few miles away from the Atlanta airport which is the largest airport uh, in the United States. So you can go there and uh, look at these. Now, the FEMA and the CDC say that they're, by the way, this is nearby the CDC, Center for Disease Control. Uh, they say that they're only doing this in case there's a mass biological outbreak. You've just got to remember that it's the government, the criminals that have hijacked our government, or National Security Act of 47 who fully took over when they killed President Kennedy in 63, and now under PDD-51 openly says that the White House is a dictatorship and that Congress has no authority. Uh, the chairman of the Homeland Security Department for six, seven months, it's been going on for 11 months total since one of the people on the, on the committee asked to see the documents, they're not even allowed to see the fully declassified uh, you know, slash classified version. But on the cover sheet of PDD-51, Presidential Decision Directive 51, it says that the president is a dictator. People say, well, everything will be all right. Barack Obama will soon be in, or John McCain will. They're just puppets. They run nothing. They're there to carry out their orders. Understand, it's that executive branch that allows the private corporations that have hijacked our government to have at least on the surface the look of government. But a president declaring himself dictator is totally illegal and illegitimate. See, that's what you've got to ask yourself. Do you stand with the Bill of Rights and Constitution or with the New World Order? Do you stand with the Republic and the Founding Fathers or the dirtbag globalists? We'll be right back with the second hour and your calls. More on the coffin.